So this is called primary cyan. It's it's quite interesting that there's this whole school of thought. What's well, kind of an argument going on about um, what primary colors are. So when I've been teaching you in beginners classes, we always look at a normal blue, a normal red, and a normal yellow. When we think of red, and it's like a fire engine red, we think of blue, it's like a cobalt blue. Um, but when you mix those three colors together, you get the, the dirty sort of primaries. So in the foundations book, Zen and the Art of Art Foundations, I've talked about this, um, the primary colors and splitting them into split primaries, which gives you beautiful, clear secondary colors. So that split primaries is just a term that I invented. You might not find it on the internet. Um, but it's taking each color and splitting it into two so that you have a warm and a cool version of each color. The traditional way to think of primary colors is normal red, normal yellow, normal blue. Like we kind of remember from when we were kids, you know, those, those sort of childlike primary colors. But there's this sort of modern school of thought that is coming from, usually from younger people who are, have been brought up on computers. And they're used to having the primary colors on the computer screen being cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So it's the printing colors, C-M-Y-K. You can take these three. This is a bonus bonus tip. So this is the primary cyan. It kind of looks a little bit like a cerulean blue. This um, CMY primary system, this is what it looks like. So you can see that creates a beautiful, vibrant set of colors. So there's no problem with getting the um, secondary colors being really bright with that. So it is a good set if you are only allowed to have three tubes of paint and you wanted to bright, what you wanted to paint bright, cheerful, happy paintings all the time, then those three would be fine. But can you see what might be wrong with? The, using these three colors and it's got to do with this if, if they're the only three that tubes that you're allowed to have you're not allowed to have any more tubes I'll let you have white but you're not allowed to have any more colors you want to create a whole painting the tones are all very pale Probably the darkest one that we've got is this kind of purple that we've mixed up, but we've added a fair bit of um, magenta in there. But there's no, not really any good strong dark, is there? When you look at each of these individual colors, that's not a really dark color. And this isn't a really dark color. And this isn't a really dark color. So you've only really got sort of from here to here on the tonal scale with those. You can use these and you get beautiful clear secondary colors, yes, but you haven't got strong darks. So that's a problem that you can't get really, really strong darks. So that's why I would normally use French Ultramarine in my kit because that gives me a really strong dark. Have a look at how dark this is straight out of the tube. Look at how strong and dark this color is. It's so dark compared to anything else that's on the palette, isn't it? I mean, this is this is quite dark. I've made that a quite a strong mixture there. But you can't just use that for your strong darks because what happens if you want to mix a dark green? Like here's, here's the blue that you've got and here's the yellow that you've got. If you start putting purple into that, it's going to go muddy because you're bringing yellow into purple. So... Um, you can't get a strong dark green, but look, if you take a little bit of this yellow and a bit of this blue, bang, you've got this instant really dark strong green. So I think having that color in the set is really important. So I still swear by um, the split primary method. 
And then it's great to have, you don't need to have your fire engine red. Um, so you, but you could add cadmium red in there if you want a really punchy red that's a nice strong opaque. And you can add in your cadmium yellow for a punchy opaque yellow. And that's a fantastic set of six that whenever I go to a brand new medium, I always get those six.